residents, don't be alarmed if you see Army vehicles rolling through your neighborhood this week. Yeah, News 11's Dan Gray is live with reaction from residents. Dan? Yeah, Tom, we are at the U.S. Army Reserve Center near Goodfellow and Natural Bridge in North St. Louis. Just up the street here on Goodfellow, there are dozens of Army vehicles, Humvees, trucks, tanks, parked in a parking lot. They're there every day. But now what the St. Louis Police Department is saying, that some Army vehicles may be rolling through neighborhoods in the Police Department's 6th District, which is far north St. Louis. And don't be alarmed if you see those over the next seven days rolling through your neighborhood. It is part of an Army training exercise. Now that's a court... Yeah, training for what? In time watchman. <clears throat> you know, uh... According to reports, I heard everything had been pulled about it, but I've got this one uh, uh, that uh, has not been pulled uh, from the net. Uh, but in any event, uh, we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that they're in cahoots with the police. Police and army are in cahoots together to roll on the streets of America in the not-so-distant future. Now, with that being said, <clears throat> let's listen on to what uh, the reporter and two uh, witnesses uh, uh or I would call them uh, stooges, have to say. According to St. Louis Police, we have called Army offices in St. Louis and we've called Army offices in Washington, D.C., trying to get information about why this, this training is going on here and what it's all about. Well, we haven't heard back from anybody at the Army just yet, but people who live and work in this neighborhood say they think the training here is a good idea. Well, the two, the two that he... Uh the two that he's going to interview here in a minute, they believe the training is a good idea, okay? And the uh, the military officers that he tried to call, and, uh, of course, they didn't respond back to this reporter. Uh, of course they're not, because they can't tell the truth to the American people what they're training and getting ready to do, because there might be a backlash. And the two guys coming up might not, might not take so kindly if they knew what was going to be uh, coming in the future and why the training actually is for martial law and to uh, put troops on the streets and, uh, you know, squash dissent. Uh, anyway. I think it's the same way when you go out to other countries, when you go out of town, they don't have police officers, they have troops. And I think it kind of scares a lot of people. Do you hear that? And this black guy's talking about, uh, I think it's the same way when you go out of the country. They don't have uh, police. They have uh, troops. And it kind of scare a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Then he's going to go on and tell you it's a crime deterrent. Well, the fact of the business is uh, we don't live in other countries. Uh, I don't, we don't live in Afghanistan. You know, we don't live in Guatemala. We don't live in uh, places of that nature. We live right here in this good old place called uh, America, and uh, that you know, I'm sure there'll be many people waving flags at the troops as they begin to train uh, for the mission of uh, taking over the cities of America. Uh, when your dollar collapses, when the banksters do their final rape and pillage of destruction on your dollar, listen up. Like cut down on crime. Crime, yeah, cut down on a whole lot of crime. They don't know if they're military or they police. See now, now the uh, reporter was actually uh, telling the guy what he needed to say after the guy had said that there, you know, there's always military in other countries and 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 it scares a lot of people. And then the reporter says or puts words in the in the in the uh, witness's mouth or the the uh, testimonial parasite's mouth, and uh, he says, "Yeah, cut out on crime." So that see see what they're doing is they're. Uh, they're acclimating the average sheeple to believe that what's going to take place uh, with the army training is simply to cut down on, on crime. Well, I got a question. What in the name of you know who do we need police for if it's going to be the military that's cutting down on crime? What do we need them for? You, you got to stop and ask yourself a question and think about this. Why is it going to be the, the you know the police and the military? Has it gotten so bad in, in the in the rape and pillage and robbing uh, on the streets of uh, North St. Louis, uh, St. Charles County that that 
that they must roll the tanks out, that they must roll the Humvees out, that they must roll the military people out to put an end to such horrendous crime in this nation? I think not. I think there are other motives at play here. I think it's fantastic because this might slow down some of the crime rate, you know, the crime rate. Notice, now this is the second one, the second sheeple that is uh, uh, testifying and giving his testimony that he thinks it will be great because it will cut down on crime. See, this is, this is, this is the playbook uh, that is being presented to the everyday person that, that you know, that we don't know what it's about, but we really inside we know it's going to be the cut out on crime. Uh-huh. That's what I think of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, again, police are, are telling us and telling citizens in this area, look out for any Army vehicles that may be coming and going up and down neighborhoods through the North St. Louis area. The Army isn't officially saying what's going on just yet, but they can expect this training to be going on until next week, till June 28th. Reporting live in North St. Louis for Fox 2 News, I'm News 11's Dan Gray. Well, there you go. So Fox, uh, Fox 2 News 11, Dan Gray, is reporting that uh, they'll let you know what's going on. There'll come a day when, when you'll absolutely know, even the stupid sheep will know, when, when the nation is destroyed and, and looks like a military war zone. End time watchmen have a good day. <laughs> One more thing before I go. You know, we've heard over and over and over again that, you know, that the, uh, the, your government... Uh, your politicians, local and national, your presidents, your police and your military are out to help you, that you need them, that without them you cannot survive. Well, the question I have for you today, before I let you go, is how did people survive back then in the good old days? And ladies and gentlemen, the good old days are no longer here anymore. You might want to get right with the Creator, and you might want to find somebody you can hold on to and trust, because hell's going to break loose pretty soon. Have a good one.